The Second Great Dissolution is the only way to dissolve the remaining Yakuza groups within the country. Perhaps to Ebina, it's just a means to an end, but to Arakawa, it was his dying wish. Knowing that, I swallowed my pride and left prison to see it through. However, Ebina's taken more control of the Seriyu clan than I could have imagined. He's got me under 24-7 surveillance, no matter what I do. I can't even be alone unless I take measures like this. If we're really going to pull this off, I need reinforcements. Reinforcements? Yes. That includes you, Kiryu-san. If you'll permit me to do so. Granted, I understand your situation's tricky. I can't ask you to step back into the limelight. Certainly not at the moment. Now then, this may come off as rude, but instead, I'd like to ask you a favor. What is it? Daigo Dojima, Goro Majima, and Taiga Saijima. Three of the most legendary Yakuza of all time. If anyone can help the second dissolution, it's them. You want me to ask them? Yes. I believe we need their influence in order to fulfill Arakawa's will, and rightly this time. After the disbanding of the Tojo and the Omi, its former members established a security company out in Osaka. It was a refuge for old Yakuza who'd lost their way. But for all their efforts, the company went under after just a year. Since then, Daigo-san and the others have disappeared. Well, sorry to say, but I don't know where they... Even if you can't contact them, you must have some idea where they might have gone, yes? <sighs> You're not the type to leave them alone for good. You're the only person who could drag them back out into the open. Please, I don't have anywhere else to turn. I do know that they disappeared. However, I'm not really sure why. So... Guess we start from there. Sorry, guys. In case it wasn't clear, I'll be out for a few days. Hmm. Old friends, huh? Gosh, these fellas must be pretty eccentric. Don't mean to be rude, but <laughs> no one in their right mind would live out there. No, sir. Who knows? I'm sure they've got their reasons. Reasons? Sure. Well, give it two, maybe three more hours on the road. Oh, there's that snow. Better bundle up, friend. <laughs> I'm sure you guys have a lot to talk about. We'll hang out here. Appreciate it. One thing, maybe try to make it quick. The sooner we get out of this cold, the better. Sure. It may be a shack, but it's still home. Maybe try knocking. Little manners will go a long way, after all. Shit. You're getting old, Kiryu-chan. Time will do that, Majima-san. Son. Oh, 
A lot's happened. <laughs> Guess that goes for all of us, eh? Yeah. Well, <laughs> grab a seat. Least we can do is pour you a drink. Haven't seen you since the dissolution. It's been four years already. Last I'd heard, you had a security company out in Sotambori. <laughs> had. And hey, look where we are now. What about you, Kiryu-san? You doing okay these days? You don't look yourself, if I'm being honest. Actually, that's no surprise. I've got cancer. They gave me half a year. <sighs> you what? <sighs> okay. <laughs> Even the dragon, huh? Guess no one's safe. Guess not. Well... If you're short on time, might as well drink up. Doubt Hell's got a good selection. Majima-san, the man's dying for pity's sake. It's all right, Daigo. Might be crude, but he's not wrong. Better to enjoy things while I can. Long as I'm still here, I'll keep pushing along. Well, better not waste your time with us, then. Fine. What happened to you? How'd you all end up here? Who cares about us? This is no place for someone in your condition. You need to be back in the city. I'll get you a car and... Daigo. Honestly, you think you'd learn by now. <sighs> you think Kiryu-chan here's gonna listen to that? <sighs> it's been so long. I'd almost forgotten. <laughs> really, I suppose this is just like old times. So, you want to know what happened? Is that it? The world happened, that's what. We lost. <sighs> Settle in, because this will take a minute. Now, when we set up the company, we knew from day one there'd be risks involved. I mean, this happened right after we dissolved two major clans. How could there not be? We knew we'd get people's attention. Especially since we were all former Yakuza. Knowing you, I'll bet you tried to mitigate that. Of course. Naturally, I tried to take every precaution possible beforehand. I used all our connections from both the Tojo clan and the Omi Alliance. Talked with the media and the higher-ups. Granted, those things don't come for free. Close to 70,000 lives were on the line, and the five-year ex-Yakuza clause would have swallowed them whole if not for that. I did what I felt was necessary. I'm not here to tell you whether you made the right choices. There's only one thing I want to know. Where did it go wrong? Well, things were great at the beginning. Gradual as it was, we built a fairly large clientele. I mean, plenty of businesses need protection, and we had the men for the job. When it came to reintegrating criminals back into society, it seemed like we were doing just about everything right. All that said, after the first year, we started seeing some issues. Something with the employees come up? No. Online accusations. A popular channel did a feature on our company. Thanks to that, all of our ex-Yakuza employees were exposed. They even aired out the backdoor deals I'd made with the government and media. Hang on. This channel, it wasn't... The Tatara channel. Hmm. Who else? Same one that hit Kasuga. And it wasn't just the deals. It was everything. They got their hands on every scandal they could find. They stretched the truth paper thin, and we ended up taking the heat. Maybe. Even with all the stretching, we still did what we did to get ahead. In light of that, there wasn't much we could say in our defense. 
Before long, our customers started leaving one after another. Government boys washed their hands of us, too. Talk about heartless. From there, all eyes were on us. The world was watching our every move. We were at a standstill. And the company's finances dwindled as a result. It was then word broke out among the employees. The Yakuza life was calling them back. I mean, you got former Chairman Daigo up top, and we're right there with him. Ain't hard to see. If we wanted to start things up, we definitely had the means. Among some employees, there were even talks that we were planning to revive the Tojo clan. All sorts of rumors made their way around. The company was in shambles, and in such short time. <laughs> it's a miracle we didn't go sooner. Thanks to the Tatara channel, society wanted nothing to do with us, and those inside started longing for the old days. For their sake, we figured we ought to shove off. They needed a fresh start, and we weren't helping their case. I see. That explains why you're out here. If we really wanted to see the great disillusion through, this was the best way. That's what we concluded, at least. <sighs> I think I get what happened. Do you know Ebina of the Seiryu clan? He took over the Great Dissolution once you left, at least on the surface. Yes, I know the name. I've never met him, though. Two years ago, we got a tip that he was out looking for us. Two years ago? That was right around when Takabe got locked up. That's right. Ebina replaced Takabe. That's more or less all he's known for. His name alone isn't enough to unite the Yakuza. Not on a grand scale, anyhow. He'd need a few poster boys, which is probably why he wanted us. But little did he know, that ship had already sailed. Yeah, that was part of it. However, there was something else that bothered me. <clears throat> the man was due for a background check. And what we found was odd to say the least. Ebina was raised by a single mother, but she died when he was in middle school. Afterward, his family name was changed. He became the Ebina we knew today, but the name he had before, it was Hikawa. Hikawa? Ebina's mother's name is Yuriko Hikawa. She's the Hikawa family patriarch's daughter. Hikawa family? You mean Masumi Arakawa's old family? That Hikawa? Correct. And did you know that Arakawa-san and this Yuriko Hikawa were once engaged? Right. The Patriarch pushed the proposal on him, I'm pretty sure. Yes, but Arakawa-san already had a woman he loved. That was Akane-san. However, despite that fact, he couldn't just go against his own boss's wishes. And so, he kept a relationship with Yuriko-san as well. Now, this brings up a good question. Just who is Ebina's father? You don't mean... This is all just speculation, of course. But Masumi Arakawa may in fact be Ebina's father. Ebina is around Kasuga's age, give or take. Even their birth dates are similar. So Kasuga and Ebina... You're saying they could be... Half-brothers? We told you it was odd, didn't we? But if that's really the case, I can't imagine Arakawa would just abandon his own son. Judging from when Ebina was born, Arakawa-san must not have known about Yuriko's pregnancy. And after the Hikawa family all but collapsed, Yuriko gave birth without a soul knowing. From her perspective, Arakawa not only killed her father, he also abandoned her son, leaving them completely alone. I can only imagine the anger and spite she must have felt. And what if that anger was passed down to Ebina? Ebina does hold a lot of hatred for Arakawa. Exactly. So it's hard to imagine that Ebina would take up Arakawa-san's legacy. The second great disillusion was all the man ever wanted. So you guys kept your silence, and, as a result, Sawashiro was chosen for the task instead. Yes, I believe that's the case. Yep. 
that about wraps it up. But hey, I'm sure you didn't come all this way for story time now, did ya? That's right. Actually, I have a favor I want to ask you. I want you guys to help out Sawashiro. As it turns out, he's trying to fulfill Arakawa's wish too. Bringing about the second great dissolution. Ebina's watching him like a hawk, like he's the Seryu clan's prisoner. If he just had your help, Sawashiro could step up and knock him off his throne. You all started it. The second great dissolution should be yours to finish. I've said it already. There's nothing we can do. Come on. You don't have to like any of it, but at least pay attention. Kill you. Look, they're right. We got no business in the limelight anymore. I mean, sure. It's true we got the power to rally, folks. And we can get them moving, too. We join Sawashiro on stage, and we'll get the attention of every Yakuza in the country. It's called charisma. Nobody's stupid enough to say that for themselves, but... Hell if it ain't true. <laughs> How it goes. Slice it however you want. That's the Yakuza way. The dreams we ended up giving others... They're what keep them coming back. The Yakuza we knew was strong. That Yakuza had money. But those dreams ain't worth handing out right now. They need guys who can help them get back into the real world. No way in hell that's us. Especially not with our recent track record. The moment we learned something was off with Ebina's history, we knew there was a lot to consider. Yes, there's a chance he's taking advantage of the second great disillusion for his own interest. However, if he pulls it off, who are we to interfere? If anything, we should keep our distance. Right. So this is how you're taking responsibility? It is. We'll act as if we don't exist. That's the best we can do. Honestly, even death had its appeal at one point. But if we're dead and gone, our names will just carry on into the future. Kiryu-san, are you aware of what they all say? All those Yakuza. Do you know how they see you? Yeah, they act like you're some great mythical hero. If we ended up just like you, the illusions of the Yakuza life would be stronger than ever. Just look at your own life. Shintaro Kazuma was everything to you. And how'd that turn out? Sawashiro would sacrifice himself to take down Ebina. But that alone won't be enough to save everyone. He's counting on your help. Uh, I'm sorry. Fine. I'll be there for Sawashiro as best I can. You guys can just keep rotting away. <laughs> Guess I was wrong. Hold it! The hell's that supposed to mean? It's just as I said. I was stupid to think coming up here would change anything. Go ahead and run. Just remember that for all your excuses, you still have a job to do. What? What do you know? What could you possibly know about what we've been through? You have any idea what it's like? No, I can't say I do. And I wouldn't want to. Damn you! What's wrong? If you want to fight, don't hold back. Boy, do I hate getting worked up over petty shit like this. Better than sitting around being pissed off, though. Sure, why not? 
Let's throw a few punches. For old time's sake. Hey, what's going on? Ain't you guys supposed to be having a nice, friendly chat? Because, uh, they sure as hell don't look like one. Sorry for the wait. I'll need just a little more time. Quit acting so tough. We're not gonna leave our friend out to dry like that. <laughs> more importantly, if we stay out here any longer, we'll all freeze to death. Hmm. So you've got five on your side now, huh? Suppose that's fine. I'll just have to tag in, too. Ooh, oh shit. How about this? Never thought we'd be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with all three of you. <laughs> yeah, sure. Like you got any business with us. Maybe stay in your fucking lane. <sighs> oh well. Guess I'll try and make this fun. One express trip to hell coming up! Be straight with me. What are you all so afraid of? Are you scared of screwing up people's lives? <clears throat> or maybe... Maybe you just don't want to fail again. Whatever the reason... You'll never know if you don't try. You act like it's so simple. Say we do try. What happens if it all goes to hell again, huh? If that day comes, you keep on pushing through. As long as you're breathing, keep moving, keep trying, and figure it out. There you go again. Always the hero. Say what you want. It's the only way I know. Besides, this is the last time. Anyway, I'm gone. You won't be hearing from me again. Wait. Don't go. Kiryu-san, I get that you don't have a lot of time left. Still, it's not worth it. That's no reason for you to run off and get yourself killed. You're wrong, Daigo. What? Honestly, it's a weight off my shoulders. My death's finally worth a damn. Kiryu, what are you saying? I'm the same as you guys. I've screwed up more lives than I can count at this point. Not to mention... I'm a Yakuza. I haven't exactly lived a life that I can be proud of. Yet even then, through it all, I'm somehow still here. So that's it. The Yakuza have made a huge mess for themselves. Once I grab hold, I am taking it with me. You're talking out of your ass, Kiryu. That's no excuse to...
Wait till things settle down. Come then, Kasuga's gonna need your help. The Yakuza have one chance. Their future depends on him. Don't you leave! Don't you dare leave! Shiryu-chan! <laughs> you know, it's funny. I came to ask you guys for help. But maybe... All I wanted was one last fight. <sighs> Wait! Kiryu-san! Well, we're back. And no Daigo Dojima, Taiga Saijima, or Goro Majima. Ah, oh, man. They just get off their asses, we'd have wrapped things up by now. <laughs> You're probably right. <sighs> they seem to have made up their minds, though. It's not like we can force them to help out. You got me there. I swear. To think the Tatara channel got a hold of them, too. Yeah. Hey! Oh, whoa! Isn't that Kiryu? Yeah, look! It's gotta be him! It really is! What's going on? <clears throat> if we let this guy roam free, the Yakuza will just keep coming back! I don't care if I get locked up! He's never gonna hurt us again! We don't have time to take these guys on. Let's lose them and get back to Kasuga's place. <sighs> get back here, dammit! People, Tatara Channel coming at ya! As always, we're out to boldly reveal the evils the media's just too scared to touch! Let's jump into today's topic! Now look here! Everyone knows this face, right? That's right! Photographed in Hawaii just the other day, it's Kazuma Kiryu! But this latest video comes to us from right here in Japan, in our own backyard! That means Kazuma Kiryu's come home. And why, you ask? Well, feast your eyes. This is the head of one of the biggest Yakuza groups of all time, the Tojo Clan's sixth chairman, Daigo Dojima. And that's not all. With him are Tojo Clan officers Goro Majima and Taiga Saijima. These are all major players, Yakuza all-stars if you will. How about our longtime viewers? I'm sure they recognize these guys, right? Yep, these are the guys who ran that security company from Sotenbori, the same one yours truly covered a while back. A wicked security firm run by former Yakuza members, the company was dissolved shortly after we featured them on our channel. At first, we thought they had well disappeared, but it seems they've simply been hiding out. Now, what's this mean for Kazuma Kiryu? Why would he visit them now of all times? To find out, we've invited the man who risked his very life to bring us this footage. Ah, uh, yes. Hello there. Now, right away, if you don't mind telling us, sir, just how did you end up with this video? Well, I'm a truck driver, you see, and yesterday I picked up this hitchhiker. I didn't know the guy was Kazuma Kiryu at the time. That said, I, I do have an eye for seeing through people. I figured he was way too fishy, so after I dropped him off, I decided to follow him. And that's when you filmed this, after you chased him down, right? So, what were Kazuma Kiryu and his Tojo clan cohorts discussing in their little shack? Did you hear what they said? From what I could hear, at least, it was stuff like going back to the Yakuza and reviving the Tojo clan. Going back to the Yakuza? Did you hear that, folks? And 
coming from Kazuma Kiryu and the like. Does this mean everything we feared is coming true? The Yakuza really are planning their return. What does that spell for the rest of us? When did this video go up? Earlier this morning. It immediately went to number one in trending, and it's even being reported on TV. And that wasn't Chitose, was it? Nope. From what Kasuga told me, Chichan completely cut ties with Eiji after all that happened. My guess is he found a substitute. Actually, some of the more passionate fans have noticed, but only a small percentage. The channel's grown, and now even the numbers alone are drawing in more viewers. Right. And to the majority of them, it doesn't matter if they're getting the truth or not. Dwight said something similar a while back. People will always choose the flashier lie over the duller truth. Of course. There's just one thing we need to figure out then. And that's how to take the second great dissolution out of Ebina's hands. We need Daigo and the others' help. And that won't come easy. Hey, hold on a second. Check the video. There's more to it. They see something kind of odd right here. Hmm. Well now, if that's not a shock, I don't know what is. As always, folks, I'll be sure to keep you posted as soon as I hear more. On that note, our next video is a special treat. That's right, tonight I'm going live! We had some guests recently, Ebina-san and Sawashiro-san from the Seiryu clan. Remember them? Well, as it turns out, they just offered to make an important announcement right here on my channel! I'll be visiting the Seiryu clan offices in Tokyo up close and personal, so don't miss out! Ebina and Sawashiro? And it's tonight. We don't have much time. Plus, if it's a live stream, that means they'll actually be there. Not only that, but Eiji should be there too. The Seiru Clan's Tokyo office. That's the old Tojo Clan headquarters. We'd better head over there. Hmm, there's nobody here. I figured fans would be storming the place. Well, it's still Yakuza territory. Still, maybe not the best place to go in person. Be a pretty ballsy move, yeah? It would be. That said. What does that say about us? Ugh, what a pain. Who's that? One of my guys. I wonder what they want. It's me, what is it? What? Hmm? Huh. I see. Right. Thanks. It's Takabe, the Seriyu clan chairman. Someone stabbed him in his cell. Someone what? Takabe? How is he? Unresponsive and in critical condition. Ah, oh, ain't that convenient timing. Right? This has to be Ebina's doing. With him gone, the Seiryu clan can do whatever they please. And in light of that, I get the feeling they're about to try something big. Ah, <sighs> <sighs> the stream's starting. What's up, people? Tatara Channel coming at ya! Amazingly, this is my second stream today! What's more, tonight's show is huge, unlike anything we've ever seen! We might even witness history in the making if we're lucky! As I announced, we're on the town tonight! More specifically, the Tokyo offices of Yakuza Titan, the Seiryu clan! Now then, a special word from their top two! One Masataka Ebina and one Joe Sawashiro are in the building! Seems they've got important news for us. That's some fanfare. And what do you think they'll say? Looks like they're about ready, so let's give them a warm welcome. Take it away, gents! Thank you, one and all, for your time today. I'm Ebina of the Seiryu clan. Likewise, I'm Sawashiro of the Seiryu clan. Regarding tonight's announcement, we've asked this channel for their time for but one reason. I'm sure many of you out there are feeling anxious, having heard rumors of the Tojo clan's return. As it stands, we would like to clarify the Yokohama Seiryu clan's position on the matter. And that is, we of the Seiryu vehemently oppose the revival of the Tojo clan. I 
see. And is this out of concern that you'll have more competition as Yakuza? No, on the contrary. It goes without saying that the Seryu clan is a Yakuza group. Furthermore, we have been increasing our ranks as of late. However, despite these truths, we are currently planning our disbandment. Disbandment? It's already been four years, but the two largest Yakuza groups, the Tojo Clan and the Omi Alliance, came together for the same purpose. Their simultaneous disbandment should still be fresh in everyone's memories. Regardless, as a result, many former Yakuza members flooded society, impacting public safety. And in response, former Tojo Clan officers have since planned to rebuild the group. If I'm being quite frank, their attempt to disband was a failure. Being a seasoned Yakuza myself, I believe it was a colossal blow to all of us. Now, the Great Dissolution's ringleaders were Daigo Dojima, Masaru Watase, and of course, Masumi Arakawa. These three men plunged Japan into chaos and needlessly ruined the lives of their peers. This is not an opinion. This is fact. You know, I'm sure he's only playing the part here. I wonder how much he actually believes. I guess he is putting his life on the line for Arakawa-san's legacy. At this point, it's tough to say. Uh, huh? Sawashira wasn't told about the Great Dissolution back then. He was kept out of it. I'm sure in some sense, had he been included, things might have worked out better. Might be distorted, but his desire to help Arakawa is no less than Kasuga's. That's never simple, is it? What else is new? Therefore, myself and Sawashiro here, in order to fulfill our duties as part of the Yokohama Seryu clan, now the largest Yakuza group, have developed a plan to truly disband the Yakuza, once and for all. Really now? And how do you plan to do that? Right now in Japan, the five-year ex-Yakuza clause is a shackle to many. Those longing for a normal life can expect but one thing complete and total exile. One may as well be dead. Noble efforts aside, the previous dissolution failed to consider this. To that end, I have created a support program that will reintegrate every last member of the Yakuza back into society upon its inception. Thus would mark the second great dissolution. The disbandment of the Yakuza, in the truest sense imaginable. To aid the project, we've since begun talks with the Japanese government and hope to receive their cooperation soon. A government? Gotta say, this is a big deal. As a matter of fact, their involvement is crucial to our plan. The goal of this project, you see, is to simultaneously provide a solution to the other issue Japan's currently facing. That issue being, of course, the disposal of nuclear waste. Nuclear power plants work non-stop, producing copious amounts of waste daily. There are no proper disposal areas within Japan. As it stands, said waste has only continued to accumulate. Nevertheless, we have also procured a means to not only contain it, but also dispose of it. The answer lies with Hawaii's very own group, Palekana. For years, Palekana has contributed to both charity and environmental causes. As to the latter, they even have their own disposal site, one suited for nuclear waste. After long negotiations, Palekana has agreed to take in and dispose of Japan's low concentration waste. On top of that, they have also committed to hiring former Seryu clan members following the upcoming dissolution. So, you won't just solve the nuclear waste issue, but you'll help your colleagues back on their feet as well! Well, well, this really was an important announcement. 
Indeed. And please, let it be clear that the reason we're here is to, above all, convey the good faith of the Seryu clan. We'd like to show our sincerity that our plan is more than empty words. And in order to do so, we've decided to take that first step right here on the stream. And what would that be? But what else? As of this moment, the Yokohama Seryu clan is officially dissolved. You mentioned you were preparing to disband, but you meant right now? That's right. Tomorrow, we will be reborn as a new organization, a wholly legitimized non-profit. Our name? Bleach Japan. Bleach Japan? The hell's he talking about? Uh, uh, back from the dead. How do you like that? <sighs> and that wraps it up. If this project actually goes through, could that mean a huge turning point for Japan? That's it for today's stream. Catch you at the next update. <sighs> Those jerks. That was all talk. They should still be inside. We waiting for them? No, they might not come through here. We should go to them. I had a feeling you'd say that. All right, let's go! back to dig up the old Tojo clan. Your little breakup might have been a wash, but you don't got a butt in on ours. I'm here for Ebina and Sawashiro. Out of the way. You still don't seem to understand the situation you're in. Come on. You want to embarrass yourself in front of the whole world? Says the little man in the phone. You want embarrassing? Take a look at yourself. <laughs> All right, wait them. Huh. Oh, it won't budge. Looks like taking the front doors out. Over here. We'll head through the back. It's a straight shot from here. Nowhere to run. Better be ready. <laughs> Fine by me. I'm ready to kick some ass. Little walk down memory lane, Kiryu-san. <sighs> Narasaki. Should really take it all in. Might be the last time you ever see it. Afraid I don't know what you mean. You're not the first person to come after me. You want my head? It'll take a lot more than you. That's some tough talk. Let's see how long you keep it up. All right, you bastards! Bring me the dragon's head! Whatever it takes! Now! Get him! Yeah. Yo, sir.
shit. They got away. <laughs> you morons. Ebina-san and Sawashiro-san. They were never here to begin with. That live stream of theirs was a recording. Yeah. You all bought it. Just like that. Sure, we might not have gotten rid of you, but I think we'll be fine either way. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Wait till you step outside. Kill you. Your history. Have fun running. <sighs> Sounds like there's no reason to stick around. Let's go. Yeah, good plan. You don't think they're dead, do you? Holy shit! Did Kiryu really do all this? Whoa. Who are these people? Do they even realize where they are? <sighs> Rubberneckers. And the media's here too. Crazy they just waltz through the front door like that. Hey! It's Kiryu! Hey! Kiryu did do this! No way! Amazing! The legend busts in right as the Seiryu clans have found to disband! The absolute madman! Oh, 